Right, okay. Hello, everyone. Um, just another tip, something that I've been... Um, I've been doing. Um, just started doing it, really, since they introduced the new feature where you can change clubs without leaving the game. Um, I use the Orion. Uh, it's a much flatter ball flight than the Spectre. I know a lot of people use the Spectre. But you tend to get a huge secondary wind effect from the Spectre. And it sort of pushes it off course a lot. Uh, with the Orion, it's a much flatter ball flight. But having said that, the ball guide's not very good, the shot view. So what I'm going to do on this one, I think that my adjustment's going to be about just less than 1 to 1. So 3.1 wind. It's going to be around about uh, about 2.6-ish adjustment. Two point, yeah, about 2.6, 2.7. But you can see that I can't see what's going to happen here because of the curtailed shot view so what I'm going to do is just quickly switch out to the club with the best shot view so just comparing these two stats the shot view go from 62 to 75 if you do have anything better than that then you know you go just go for your best shot view um so I'm going to switch out to the Rattler and watch what happens. See that? Now I can see exactly where my bounce is going to be. What's going to happen when I... Um, I can see what's going to happen when I apply certain spins and I get a good idea of what's going to happen. at the end of my shot so I think that I'm using um, a bit of right spin there to sort of straighten it up so I'm not going to shoot using the Rattler I'm going to shoot using the Orion but I'm using the Rattler because it's got a better shot view So I'm just going to mess around with the, um, I'm just going to move it to the side of the screen here so that I can see it when um, adjusting the spins. Can you see the ball guide there? I think that's going to be about perfect. So um, I know that the Orion has got more backspin than this, so it's not going to sort of flick to less backspin when I uh, when I switch clubs. So you've got to be careful that you move to a club that's within the range um, of, of spins so that it doesn't affect the spins. So now that I've set up, I'm then going to switch out, uh, pick the Orion again, just because I'm more familiar with the rings and the numbers, and I'm going to adjust at 2.6, I'm just going to, there we go, go to the grid, pop the grid on. And I'm going to move 2.7 rings on this one. And you can see I have n no shot view really on the Orion compared to the Rattler. But using the Rattler to get set up. And then switching to the Orion for the adjust. And we'll see what happens. And nearly hold it, nearly hold it. Um, I think if I'd have played the Orion, I um, would have been guessing a little bit on the setup. 
but that technique's allowing me just on shots like that you can use it on drivers on wedges on uh, on pretty much any club um using the best possible shot view to uh, to get set up and then switching out to a better club that you or not a better club but a club that you're more familiar with to do the adjust okay so um it's another tip i hope it helps